Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop effects series. In this video, I will show you how to create realistic lights like this inside of Photoshop. Alright, this is the before and this is the after. If you've not subscribed to the channel, now is the right time to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of the videos I will drop in any time from now. Without having to say much, let's get started. The first thing I like to do is the image. This image that I use is in description of this video so do well to get yours in description i'm just going to go ahead and convert it to smart objects so when i have to increase or move it around it doesn't lose its values or it doesn't pixelate right so i'm going to do this the next thing i'm going to do create a new layer here like this this is the color i'm using so you can copy my color code this is the color code and um, click OK like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge art. And um, I'm just going to click my brush like this. The brush. I'm going to make sure under general brush, I'm selecting the soft round brush like this. And I'm just going to click once like this. Click once. Make sure your flow and opacity is set to 100. Right? So, having done this, the next thing I'm going to do is um, this is normal and this is linear dodge add. Right? So, if I click on this and select blending option, now there's one thing, one important thing you need to do. Wait for this to load up. And um, when it loads up, make sure you uncheck this transparency shape layer right and click ok so now that you've done that let's move on to the next thing create a new layer like this and um, with the same brush but this time I'm just going to increase the size of the brush with a bracket tool and click once change the blend mode to screen this time I'm going to repeat the same process blending option and I'm just going to uncheck first thing I unchecked the first time which is transparency shapes layer so when i do this i'm going to click ok again and you can see that we have a nice build up of the slides create a new layer again this time i'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge art or let me use screen instead now this is going to be the reflection of the light from the car like this so basically i'm just going to use my brush and i'm just going to um reveal the areas that the lights will touch on the body of this particular um, car here like this so I'm gonna right click blend option I'm gonna do the same thing but in a different way now this is what I mean inside the blending option I'm going to use the blend if command now this is where the blend if is right so hold down the alt key while you drag this to the right hand side like this you can see how balanced this has become right so it doesn't stop there i'm just going to move the slider also to create a perfect blend right so when you see compositions that has to do with lighting and all of this this comes in handy right so with this done i can duplicate this you can see that the more you duplicate it the more light you get right so this is what you have so um now that we have this next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a, a reflect refraction of the light so with that what i'm going to do i'm going to make the brush bigger like this make the size of the brush bigger and um, what i'm going to do next is make sure your flow is set to 100 and uh, okay my flow is not set to 100 it's set to 37 so i'm just going to increase the flow like this and i'm just going to click once like this just once make sure i know what i'm doing it once like this now i know it feels odd and everything it's going to make sense now change the blend mode to linear dodge art still not making sense right reduce the opacity if you have to but for now i'm going to hide this create another another new layer like this and um you're going to use your um not this polygonal lasso tool i'm going to map out the area that the light is um going to hit that's from the source to where it's going to so i'm just going to draw a marquee on that area like this i'm going to end it here 
so you see a selection like this what you should do at this point is turn this on right, like this click on layer and come down and click on the mask to mask out that place based on your selection so this is what you get but if it doesn't make any sense right now let's make it make sense you can delete that layer click on the mask you can get that from property if you don't see your property just do I arrange mine you can get that from windows and make sure this is checked so inside of um properties make sure you increase the feather so i'm just going to increase the feather like this so you can see how it is blending gradually so you can bump it up to 100 or you can leave it this way just make sure it's realistic you can um, to maintain a nice flow you can reduce the opacity like this whichever way you want it just make sure what you're trying to achieve is perfection right yours can be better than mine it's fine come over to this layer and what you should do is click on adjustment layer and um, select color lookup now color lookup should be somewhere around here yeah this is it now from the options i'm just going to select one that fit my takes to make to make this image blend more no this is not it i'm going to use something that has to do with night yes so you can see this is night from day but the effect is too much so how do you reduce it very simple so you can go over to where you have um it looks good this way if you're if you're doing a cinematic um scene from the action movie but let's try and reduce this you can see this is quite all right the way it is so you can go over to color balance and let's balance off the colors so i'm going to add yellows to make the light pop more and i'm also going to the shadows i'm going to add blues to the shadows to make it realistic and to the highlights i'm just going to add a little bit of yellow to it and of course a little bit of red to it like this right so this is how you get this done right so you can increase the um, you can duplicate to increase the flow and reduce the opacity like this but i will just leave mine the way it is and i'll just delete this one here so it's just that one i don't need to duplicate anything right so click on this and click on this to trash it now in some cases you want maybe you want to change the direction of light you don't want this direction all you can do is i'm going to click on this right click and click on delete layer mask so i'm going to redraw that again so create a new layer like this or you don't need to even create a, a layer for it go over to your lasso tool draw the direction you want the lights to go somewhere around here click here like this click here like this and you're done now with the layer selected click on the mask and you can see that i've changed the direction just increase the feather like this and you're good to go right so you can always change the direction of the light by using my technique right so um little adjustment if this was a composition i would have done so many other things like i'm going to put this here i'm going to change the direction flip horizontal just so it feels like there's a reflection coming from the other light source there too so i'm gonna have it this way and uh, yes that's all all right guys if you've liked this video make sure you click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you miss any videos I will drop in any time from now. I'll see you guys.